And we're back again with uh, our people in key states. Uh, Senator Graham, uh, Mike Allen of Politico uh, says that uh, Senator McCain is considering unveiling some new economic proposals. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, we're going to talk this afternoon, but I think it goes along the lines that now is the time to lower tax rates for investors, uh, capital gains tax, dividend tax rates, to make sure that we can get the uh, economy jump started. The worst thing we could do now, Bob, is to increase federal spending and increase taxes on small business like Senator Obama would propose or mandate from the federal government health care requirements on uh, individuals and uh, business with fines if you don't comply. So it will be a very comprehensive approach to jumpstart the economy uh, by allowing capital to be formed easier in America by lowering taxes. Uh, but no more uh, uh, bailouts. Uh. Yeah, the, the, what, what we believe the $700 billion that will be interjected into the economy needs to go to Main Street, not just Wall Street. So if you're in a home now where you owe more on the home than the home's worth, adjustable rate mortgages have, are, are coming into play now. We'd give people a chance for uh, primary residents to refinance your home at the actual value right. so that you would not owe more than, uh, than the home is worth and give you a, ch a fixed rate to, to help you make the payments and help our economy. I think that's a very wise move at this time. All right. Well, we'll wait and see what uh, this turns out to be. Uh, I want to go back to you, uh, uh, Governor Wilder. Uh, you know, uh, Barack Obama has this lead, but a lot of people say that when a minority candidate is on the ballot, they, that voters don't always tell the truth to pollsters, <laughs> that uh, sometimes they do in the booth after that curtain is closed what they have not told the pollster that they're going to do. Do you see any of that effect uh, here at play? I see it diminishing. And the reason that I pointed out to the people that I see supporting uh, Senator Obama uh, and, and how they identify the numbers of people who've contributed, uh, it, it, had, it happened in my election. Uh, I had double-digit poll numbers. But I want to point to you that in my election, my internal polls had me no higher than plus or minus two all throughout. I knew it was going to be close. The one caution that the Obama people ought to have today is not to be overconfident, not to believe that anything is won. It is not won. To dispel the myths about him being able to raise taxes on the backs of the small businesses when particularly only 95% only, uh, of the people won't be taxed at all. To the contrary, they'll be having some relief. When you, when you look at what his plan is, if you're making $250,000, you won't be taxed a penny. And so I think he needs to stay with the issues. He needs to let people know. And I say it's diminished a great, a great number of people have seen differences because, one, they've seen African Americans in position of leadership. They've seen what they could do after they got there. They've seen people at secretary of state levels, at governor's levels, and, and judicial levels. We are in an experiment in democracy in this country. And people are beginning now to see, can we do it? Yes. Is America ready? Yes. And that can be shown if we work. Uh, Adam Putnam, uh, down there in Florida, you say it's about the economy down there. Is, uh, is, is Sarah Palin any kind of a factor one way or another down there in Florida? Sarah Palin has been a huge energizing force in Florida. We have seen record crowds in the tens of thousands uh, going into large cities, large retirement communities, people of all ages willing to stand in the hot Florida sun for hours on end to catch a glimpse and to hear from a, a remarkable governor and, uh, and, and someone who can be a remarkable vice president. Uh, so she is a very powerful, motivating force down here. Uh, we just can't get enough of her. So you'd like to see her come back? Absolutely. She is uh, from one end of the state to the other, uh, from, from the uh, diverse communities in southeast Florida around Miami to the, to the panhandle of Florida. Uh, everyone uh, really, uh, she, she can draw an unbelievable right. crowd and has been a huge, a huge momentum builder for the McCain campaign. I want to ask uh, uh, Governor Ritter the same question. Uh, what kind of an impact is she having out there, Governor? Well, I think she had an early impact. Actually, Sarah Palin and I are both, we were freshman governors. We came in at the same time, 2007, inaugurated in the same month. And so um, I think early on there was an impact, actually, and that kind of leveled the playing field for a little while. And this distancing we've seen between Obama and McCain and Obama going ahead, I think, is, is some sign that the 
the sheen has come off a little bit. The gloss has come off of Sarah Palin, and people are really paying attention to the economy. I just want to say one thing about small businesses, because in Colorado, it's an economic driver, and, and Senator Graham is absolutely wrong. Uh, Senator Obama has a plan around small businesses, and it's really about how you ensure that they continue to be an economic driver, how you look at tax policy to give them tax breaks, but also how you energize the Small Business Administration to go back to uh, doing things we did right after 9-11, specific to places that 9-11 impacted, and say nationwide, we're going to utilize that same means for really rescuing small businesses. All right. Well, I want to thank all Governor, of you Governor, for you a undoubtedly very enlightening uh, discussion this morning. We, we're <laughs> simply out of time. Sorry, Congressman. We'll be back in a minute.